All right, so we're going to go through standard tuning. So we have the E string on the very top, which is the number six string. I, I look at it as number one, but it's number six. We have the A string, the D string, G string, the B, and the E. So it should sound like this. On standard tuning. And we're going to do... Um, I can't remember if it's a G minor uh, or just a, a G. Well, let's just do an open G first, okay? So you want to take your ring, your middle finger and put it on the 3rd fret, the top string, which is 6. And your ring finger on the bottom on the third fret, so it looks like this. And that's the open G. You want to add your index finger, one string down the second fret, and that's a G. And then you can also make it more full by adding your pinky at the, the E string, and your ring finger at the uh, next string up, which is on the second string, and that would be three fingers on the third fret and your mid index finger on the second or the fifth string on the second fret so it's all the G so this is an open G G G minor G and the reason to play G minor I'll get to you later I uh, like this and so you want to do open G G G You can also play a power chord which would be but we'll get to that some other time so you want to do ideally like this or like this you can even do that's more advanced and then we'll do an E minor which is all going to be on the 2nd fret at the 5th string and the 4th string and that's going to be 2nd fret. You can play all strings. And so when you're learning how to play guitar, sometimes your fingers will hit the bottom string and mute. What you want to do is try to clear the other strings. And the way, the best way to do that is if you go at an angle and not stay completely flat. Because then your fingers are naturally going away from the strings. If you go straight on, you're going to have a harder time clearing the strings, especially at first. And so you're, you're either using your uh, middle finger and ring finger or your index finger and your middle finger. Second fret. All right. And then we will do um, an E, which you would take these two where it was. And then you'll add one string lower on the first fret and it's an E and I like to play E and E7 which is um, on the second string um, you add on the third fret so that's a lot of blues songs so it all starts from the E minor So you've got G, E minor, E, and then next we'll do a C, which you want to take your uh, index finger on the second string, the first fret, you're going to climb, climb a hill, and you're going to take your ring finger, and that's going to be on the third string down, which would be the fourth string. Uh, it's confusing because it's up and down on a scale, but then when you look down at it, and then that's going to be on the second fret, and you take your, your ring finger, and that's going to go on the third fret. So it looks like this. And if you have a hard time playing that, focus on these two strings, because it's the exact same as that G minor G up here. And that's what I was saying before. So you want to do this. And you can block this top string, or you can play it outright and just add that 
when you feel comfortable on the, the second string on the first fret. And like I said before, it's easier if you can go at an angle because you'll clear the strings better. So you've got G. You've got E minor. E. And you've got C. And uh, the next one we'll do a, a little um, a kind of a melody riffing. And then um, we'll go and we'll learn the A, the D, the A minor, and um, uh, maybe C power chord, and the B, and the F. But for now, you've got your G. You've got your E minor, E, and C. And uh, as a sneak preview, your D is going to be on the second fret, the first and third string. Take your uh, your ring finger and it goes in between on the third fret. And some people find it easier to play like this because it's it's easier to fit your two fingers on the first or second fret, I'm sorry. All right.